I am Dr. Sandeep Salvi, the director of the Chess Research Foundation in Pune. Cough is one of the most common symptoms that a doctor encounters in clinical practice. Did you know that by merely listening to the patient cough, you can identify the uh, location of the irritant. You can make a diagnosis of what the cough is because of. Remember that cough is a forceful expiratory act. During this forceful expiratory act, air is pushed from the alveolus up through the small airways, medium sized airways, large sized airways, trachea, pharynx and mouth. That whole pressure is built up from the alveoli and is pushed out through the lungs. If the irritant focus is in the deeper portions of the lungs, such as in the interstitium or in the alveoli, for example, uh, the patient has pulmonary fibrosis or if the patient has pulmonary edema or if the patient has pneumonia, you get a very classical type of cough. The patient does not take a deep inhalation before he or she coughs and the cough is repeated multiple bouts of weak cough. Let me demonstrate that to you. <laughs> Weak coughs, multiple coughs originating from the lower portions of the lung. In patients who have COPD, the small airways collapse when you cough because COPD is a disease that primarily affects the small airways. So when these patients cough, they, they produce a very typical sound. It is like this. <coughs> very classical. You know those long sound pauses that you get is because these small airways collapse and that is what causes this typical cough. So if you see a patient with a cough like this, you know that this is likely to be a cough of a patient of COPD. If the irritant focus is higher up in the medium size airways, for example patients of asthma, then the cough is a little different. The patient takes a relatively deep breath and gives two or three bouts of strong cough like this. <coughs> <coughs> this is classical cough that originates from the medium sized airways as in asthma. If the irritant focus is in the pharynx or in the larynx which is the upper portion of the respiratory tract, the cough is very classical. The patient takes a deep breath and gives one single big boom of cough. <coughs> This is very classical of a cough that originates because of laryngitis, pharyngitis or even tracheitis. So isn't it interesting that by merely listening to the patient cough, you can identify where the pathology is and you can make a diagnosis of the underlying cause of the cough.